President Obama picked a soap star, well, soap opera producer, to represent the country at the U.S. Embassy in Hungary. Okay, well, this is a job that would take her from daytime drama to real-life international diplomacy. And as ABC's Jonathan Call reports, critics are questioning this nomination. This morning, the producer of this soap opera is on her way to Hungary as the U.S. ambassador. Her name is Colleen Bell, a big dollar donor to President Obama's re-election campaign and the Democratic Party, helping pull in more than $2 million in campaign cash. But at her January confirmation hearing, she didn't seem to know much about Hungary. What are our strategic interests in Hungary? Well, we have a, a, a strategic interest in terms of what are our, our key priorities. Ambassador Bell has the president's confidence that she will do uh, an excellent job of representing the United States. But where does the president get that confidence? I mean, in her confirmation hearing, she couldn't even name a single uh, strategic interest the United States had with Hungary. Well, she certainly is somebody, again, that, that, that is, uh, has had a, her own uh, distinguished private sector career. As a soap opera producer, right? Well, and as somebody who obviously has uh, succeeded in, um, you know, in the business world. And it's not just Colleen Bell. Since he was re-elected, President Obama has nominated big dollar donors as ambassadors to two dozen countries, including France, Germany, Iceland, and New Zealand. They each raised more than $500,000 for his campaign. Noah Mamet was just confirmed Tuesday as ambassador to Argentina. Mr. Mamet, have you been to Argentina? Senator, I haven't had the opportunity yet to be there. Now he'll get the chance. Jonathan Carl, ABC News, the White House. We're really mm. surprised. I mean, this is how it works. There are lots this of people who are goes. known as bundlers who yes. rake in a lot of money, donations for presidents, and they get these plum, plum ambassadorships. Our current U.S. ambassador to the U.K., Matthew Barzun, is, was a big-time fundraiser. He was in Sweden before that, and it's part of the deal, I think. This is not uncommon, it's not. but it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> when you see some of these in, at these hearings and oh my god it's just it's cringe inducing yeah, we're not asking him to go to egypt or afghanistan give you that. Right. or iran you're right. an ambassador in iran but you know what i'm saying <laughs> you're an ambassador to jamaica we're good <laughs> there you go <laughs> okay <laughs> all right they worked a little hard what's wrong with eating canapes and inviting people over and having some champagne come on they worked hard for the president did you get a little prize at the end of that I asked Rina. you for five dollars. Actually, actually, I asked Noel for twenty dollars a couple of days ago. I'm going to reward you. This is like Rena Nine in diplomacy. That's my it. diplomacy. Oh, Rena Nine in diplomacy. <laughs>